Hey there, Bloodstrike Gamers. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll compare two of the most iconic sniper rifles in the game, the Kala and the M700. Which one is the king? Grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's find out. Alright, as both weapons perform differently depending on their attachments, to make this fair, we'll use the best loadouts available for each. First up is the M700. With the best loadout, we've got Now, let's take a look at the Kala. The best loadout here is First, let's hit the range. We're looking for precision, power, and that sweet, sweet headshot satisfaction. M700, with a range of 87, this sniper can pick off enemies from a good distance. Combine that with its precision suppressor, and you've got a stealthy killer. It's like a ninja with a sniper rifle. The Kala, on the other hand, boasts a whopping range of 252. This baby can hit targets from across the map. It's like having a telescope with a trigger. Alright, time to talk about damage. M700, with a damage stat of 125, the M700 can down most enemies with a single shot to the head. It's like a freight train of bullets. The Kala steps it up with a damage stat of 150. This sniper doesn't just knock on death's door, it kicks it down. Now, let's talk about how quickly these snipers can fire and how much they kick back. M700, with a fire rate of 4 and recoil control of 72, the M700 is like a trusty sidekick. It's there when you need it and doesn't let you down. The Kala's fire rate is a bit slower at 3, but it makes up for it with a recoil control of 90. It's like firing a laser beam, straight and true. Let's see how these snipers handle when you're on the move. M700, with mobility at 50 and accuracy at 19, the M700 is decent on the go, but excels when you can take your time to line up that perfect shot. The Kala has slightly lower mobility at 44 and accuracy at 14, but it's still a beast when it comes to long-range engagements. It's like a heavyweight champ, slow, but packs a punch. Alright, time to put these snipers to the test in real game scenarios. Let's see how they perform in different situations. Scenario 1, Stealth Missions. M700, perfect for stealth missions with its suppressor. You can take out enemies without alerting the whole map. Kala, not as stealthy, but if you're in a position where noise doesn't matter, it's a headshot machine. Scenario 2, Open Maps. M700, good, but might struggle with extreme long-range shots. Kala, this is where the Kala shines. You can hit enemies from miles away. Scenario 3, Close Quarters. M700, a quicker fire rate makes it better for close encounters. Kala, a slower fire rate might be a disadvantage, but if you hit, it's lights out. Remember, guys, the best sniper also depends on your playstyle and skill level. M700, great for players who like to move around and need a balanced sniper. Kala, ideal for players who prefer to stay back and pick off enemies from a distance. So, who's the winner? Well, that's up to you. Both the M700 and Kala have their strengths and weaknesses. It all comes down to how you play the game. Drop a comment below and let us know which sniper you think is the best. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, keep those crosshairs steady and your kill streaks high. Peace out.